Okay, guys. So, last time you saw me, I had just recorded a video. I don't know when this one will come out. This will probably come out like a long time afterwards because I'm probably going to save these tier list videos for a little bit. But uh, last time, I listed these characters, Overwatch 2's characters, for the very first time on a tier list on the most enjoyable characters to play. I know, kind of a hot take. Uh, you can go watch that video to see how it went. This one, however, is gonna be the characters with the most Riz. Now this is this is this is a little this is a little you know different. This is a little different. Uh, <laughs> it did, I don't know if I'll put Riz in the title. I may. I might put Charisma. We'll see. Uh, I probably put Riz. But yeah, th this is this is definitely not as controversial. I think this 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 will play a little safer. We can have more fun with this. Let's put it that way. All right. Let's start. First off, my guy over here has got a lot of Riz. I actually think, ooh, but it's an S tier Riz. I think it's A tier Riz. I think it's A tier Riz. I think Diva is here. Diva just, she just plays the game. You know, Diva just, she's just casual. I feel like if she wanted, she could go to B, maybe. So maybe. I think she's got a little bit of game in her, but I don't know if it's like something she really pulls out often. Um, I don't think Doomfist has Riz. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he does. I think he's got money and power, but I don't think... But then money and power is also kind of Riz. But that's not Riz, though. I don't know. Actually, I disagree. I don't think that is Riz. I think that's just... Because that doesn't mean you have charisma. That's just like, I got a lot of shit you want. That's it. Yeah. This is strong arming, if anything. So I'd probably put him here because I feel like for a person that likes, you know, a, a dominating, strong individual. He might be, you know, he's not bad. He's not the best choice, but he's there. He's there. Um, yeah, this chick's got a lot of Riz. Uh, <laughs> Arissa. I don't know how I feel about the Omnix <laughs> on the Riz level. I think Arissa's fun. You know, actually, Arissa goes up here. You know why Arissa goes up here? If you know, she has a voice line with Hanzo and I actually think that unlocked a little bit of Riz there that unlocked a little bit of Riz the way she was talking to Hanzo she read him like a book I was like wait a minute this robot's got some Riz in her she's got a little bit of Riz in her I won't lie it's a little weird because I don't know Riz's canonical age but I don't whatever it's Omnic it should be fine I think uh, but I think she's got a lot of Riz. She's got a little bit. Not on the level of this man. I think if this man wanted to Riz you up, he'd do a much better job. But uh, he, he's got, like, adult Riz. She's got, like, you know, she's getting there. She's definitely got a little bit of Riz in her because that Hanzo, he, she got Hanzo flustered. That's, uh, you know, Ramatra. Ramatra's got, like, philosophical Riz. You know when they ask you, like, yeah, but what do you really want? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that, that's Ramatra. Ramatra's like, yeah, but what do you really want? And then you're like, Oh, he's just a nice guy. Then he shows you his, like, giant, you know, annihilation form. Annihilation is the, the, oh, I can't remember his um, nemesis form. He shows you his nemesis form. You're like, oh, my God, you work out. And it's like, that's, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'll probably put him up here. I'll probably put him up here. As an Omnic, this is, the, this is the only Omnic I know for CERN has got some good-ass risk. Not to this level, because I feel like, the thing with Junker Queen is that she unironically, I think, has rizzed her entire country. So I think this is this is still up here. Uh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt's got a riz. Reinhardt may not seem like it, but he's got a riz because he's pulled some people. He's definitely pulled some people. He's pulled some people. And uh, I mean, she's. She, well, I could say she, he's pulled Anna. I'm pretty sure he's pulled Anna before in the past. Uh he he could pull Widowmaker because even when he was pissed, Widowmaker was like, "It's a shame you're handsome." And I'm like, "Damn, all right." Like this guy's got a Riz. Reinhardt's got like passive Riz, but not in the like like personality wise. Just in general, like it's Reinhardt. You know what I mean? It's like how Superman doesn't really have a lot of Riz, but like in general, it's Superman. You know, I'm sure every girl has thought about it, right? You know, or or man, whoever. You know, you you know what I mean? Like it's just like it's Reinhardt, right? Like yeah, yeah. Come on. Roadhog. Roadhog, you know? I think Roadhog would make for good conversation. I don't know. He's one of those dudes that's like, you have to pursue him. He doesn't pursue you. So I'd probably put him here. I think he can definitely, like, he could definitely have fun. He can definitely, like, you know, bring out something out of you. But, like, you have to, you have to, you have to start that. You know, you have to be the, the key to his engine. And I think he's got an engine in him. 
So I'd probably put him up here. I'd say he's definitely above Diva because Diva's got a little, you know, she's got work to do. I don't think she's, you know, she's at this level. You know what I mean? Uh, there's nothing in Diva that I feel like has woken something, but I feel like this, this, this guy's got a little demon in him. And I'm like, I'm sure, you know, he come out there. Ah, uh, okay, Sigma. I'm gonna be honest. F tier. I don't think he's got any Riz. Uh, I don't think it's his fault. Maybe he had Riz in the past, but uh, this man is definitely the guy that's like, you know, I got, I got homework to do. There's, don't talk to me. I got so much stuff. I'm really busy. And then he's not even sure if he's there half the time. So I mean, like, it's kind of even hard to talk to him, let alone, you know, talking Riz. Um. Is Winston as bad? Like, Winston doesn't have Riz, if we're being honest. Like, he, he really doesn't. But I don't think he's as bad as Sigma. So we'll put him D tier. Uh, Hamster, he's a fun guy. H Hamster's like the party. He, the Hamster's like friend. I think C is like friend, for sure. Like, it's like, they're cool, maybe. Or they got something cool about them. Like, I think Doom is pretty cool. Like, in general, of like, you know, he's, he's a badass. But, like, does he got Riz? I don't know. There's nothing really, like, attracting me to him. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like... Hamster, I mean, like, he's snarky. He's got something, but, like, in general, you're kind of like, let him do his own thing. I'm not getting involved. Zarya. Zarya's a gym bro, man. Zarya's a gym bro. And that's, like, it's not really Riz, if I'm being honest. But she's got some brains about her. But I feel like it's, like, it's like kinesology brain. You know what I mean? Like, is that what it's called? The, You know, it's, like, it's, it's, it's gym knowledge brain. It's not... Maybe I, yeah, yeah, I'll put her here. I was thinking maybe I'll put her lower. I think I put Zarya lower. She's got looks, though, which is kind of a dub. I'll probably put her up here then. Ash. Ash is a problem. Ash got Riz. Ash has definitely got Riz, but she's got, she's a bit of a problem. I think she doesn't want to Riz you up. You know what I mean? Like, Ash is like, you're, I'm not going to Riz anybody because I don't have, I don't really care. You know, she's like, I'm better than everyone. But I could pull if one day, if one day I want somebody. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty fair. Uh, Bastion. Bastion's a talker, you know. Bastion's got a little bit of something. But I think he's definitely too wholesome. I think Bastion's a nice guy. He's definitely over here. Uh, nice guys are just mid, man. Nice guys are mid. Uh, Cassidy. Cassidy. Ooh. Cassidy might be. Nah. Cassidy's got Riz, though. Cass has got Riz in life, not so much relationship, though. You know what I mean? Like, Cass has got life Riz. Cass has more Riz than than her. You know what? Cass, Cass has got good Riz because I think in general... This makes me want to put him up here, though. Because I think even in a bad situation, these two can find something to find fun about the situation. Like, they can light up any mood. I think these three can light up any mood. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to move him up here. I'm going to move him up here because I think he's got a little bit of like that, you know, turn a bad situation to a good situation kind of thing. But just based on charisma, not so much on like he's got smarts about him. But like, I think he also has the personality for it a little bit. Echo. Uh, Echo's just kind of like your Siri. I don't think your Siri really has much charisma, to be honest. Uh, Genji. 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 Genji's got Riz, but I think he's a little too like nice i think back then like back in the day when he was a little younger like in his 20s genji 100 percent was like pulling a little more but i think now he's gotten more responsible he's a little more reserved you know like he's looking for a, he's got a specific person in mind so i think he's kind of low-key taken i don't think we're seeing genji in his full riz mode but like he's he's kind of just a wholesome guy right now you know He's, he's, it's like a, it's like the married man like problem. It's like what were you like when you were really in the game? It's like you never really know. You don't know, man. You don't know. Like he's not married. I'm just saying. You know, he's he's not really about that right now. Hanzo Hanzo doesn't have great risk. <laughs> Hanzo's not really much of a communicator. So I'd actually say he's, he's kind of got FT risk. I won't lie. Uh, Junkrat Junkrat is a little obnoxious. Like I think um, actually what? Yeah, we'll put Junkrat here. I think. It, if that's your thing, cool, but Junkrat's a problem. He's definitely one of those dudes where you're like, I'm sure one day you'll be like, why Why are they with him? You know, but like, it's not impossible. You could definitely like see it. It's just he's definitely in a little bit of an issue. Junkrat is the starter for this man right here. And this man was the guy who carried the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like that, this is the guy that makes you go like, wow, he, you're lucky to have him. He's not lucky to have you. You know, like I'm just going to be real. So this, th this is fair. This is fair. 
Uh, but he's gonna get he's gonna have some res if he's gonna start this man up, right? So um May. May is too wholesome. I think May's too wholesome. She's got the Winston thing. Like she's just too wholesome. Farah. Farah has Riz. But not like this much Riz, but like Riz. Like I'm talking these two, same level of Riz. Like they're like, bro, you seen the voice lines that Farah spit spits so much game. Especially to Mercy, bro. Farah spits so much game. She's like, yeah, like a knight in shining armor. That's what I'm going for. It's like dang! Damn. Damn! Like, she's got games. But I, that's the thing. I don't think she has the charisma to switch any situation up. You know what I mean? I feel like these three, even if it may not always work, they got a pull about them. I would actually put him at the bottom, but they got a pull about them, these guys. Reaper has no risk, bro. You can barely... Actually, you know what? F tier. This guy, he stopped caring. <laughs> he stopped caring. He was married. Didn't work out. Uh, a lot of things happened. He's basically half dead. I'm sure he barely feels anything, and he doesn't care. So he's he's F tier. Um, this is very like professional Riz. I would say like she's got like your boss, like your boss that like low key you're like. Could we? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, hmm. don't think like that in real life. But I'm saying like in general, she's, she's like if if we're putting all of them under this context, right? But like she's got the boss situation where you're like. My boss is not bad. You know, my boss is pretty cool. They're, they're nice, you know. They look good. They take care of themselves. They're cool, you know. I'm sure they're, like, very calming and nice to hang out with kind of person, right? But, like, definitely not C tier. I'm sure, like, if she got to know you, she'd definitely, like, do, like, a, you know, candlelit dinner kind of thing, maybe. Possibly. You never know. You never know. Soldier. Soldier doesn't have great race. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Soldier's a little bit of a Karen, uh, not a little bit of a Karen. He's literally a male uh, personification of a Karen. But I think he would get somebody. I just don't think the date would go very well, if that makes sense. Like, I think the date would eventually kind of go like, you're a little bit of a... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him F tier. I think these two ruined their Riz. I think these two had some Riz back in the past, and they just kind of like, they're scarred for life. You know, it's like the PTSD is not helping them. Let's put it that way. Um... Not joking. I mean, like, that's seriously probably what it is. Like, I'm just, I'm just being honest. It is what it is, right? Um, Sombra. Sombra's got some good riz. Sombra's got some decent riz. She can definitely make conversation really well. I don't know if she pulls as well as these two, but she definitely makes conversation pretty well. So we'll, we'll put her up here. We'll put her up here. She's much better than these guys because she's actively going to pull. Like, she can definitely pull. Uh, these won't really pull. They're more kind of just like you're attracted to them, but they're kind of more on their like not reserved, but like they have to get their engine going. And then you like you awaken something in them. You're like, wait a minute, you got something in there. You got something in there. Um, this nah, D tier. She is the she's she's. It's possible, but you have to really graft it. Like you, pun intended. You have to have like the blueprint. You know what I mean? Much like how she does life, you have to do that with you know approaching her. There's no. There's no way you're getting this. There's no way you're getting this unless you're grafting. Like, she's not helping you at all. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Torb is married. Torb is literally married. Uh, I think Torb is a cheery guy. Definitely maybe on the A, bottom, very bottom of A. Very bottom of A, I would say. Um, Tracer. Tracer, Tracer, Tracer. She is in a relationship. I think Tracer is a very nice person. I think she's here, though. I think Tracer is a very, very nice, sweet person. Um, but if I'm being honest, I don't know how her and her girlfriend got together. But I would I would assume is more like, hey, I like you. And it's like, oh, I like you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really a, like, I, ha I like you and I'm going to give you, a, like, you know, I'm going to show you reasons to like me. It was more like probably just a mutual thing that probably came to be. You know, it's like one of those things that, like, she probably didn't have a lot of charisma, and luckily she found someone that was good for her. You know what I mean? Probably one of those things. Uh, this woman is going to kill you. I don't care how good she looks. She will literally kill you. That is F tier. She killed her husband, bro. She assassinated that man with no remorse. By the way, she also says she doesn't feel anything. So uh, same thing as Reaper. I would argue, oh, wow, she's attractive, though, Zana. Well, I don't care. She's got, we're, we're talking about charisma, not looks. If this was looks, no, no question about it, 100%. But no, no, we're talking about charisma. And this, this will kill you. No better. No better. All right. Anna, Anna's got a riz, bro. 
She might have, she might have S tier Riz. She's a little bit of a problem, I won't lie. Like she's got irresponsible Riz for a mother. Let's let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. For a mom, she's got some irresponsible Riz. Cause I can only imagine when she was younger. Bro, the way she talks to like Reinhardt or who or Genji or like the way like whenever talking about like, oh, you know, I'm here always healing you, you know, from the bag, it's like I don't know. There's just something about it. I'm like, you're you're a little you're a little cheeky problem. I won't lie. You know, you, this this causes issues. This definitely causes issues. And I think, but is she adaptable though? You know what? I'll put her up here. I put her at the top of A tier. I think she's top of A tier. My man over here, however, don't matter if the situation's bad, he could still switch it. You know what I mean? Like this guy is S tier. These two, the brothers, they're not brothers, but like the teammates. You know what I mean? Like they're brothers in arms, right? These men, these two must have been pulling so hard overseas multiple times. I can't imagine on their missions. Oof, these guys are wild. I'm sure they have some crazy stories. Uh, Brig is too wholesome. I honestly think Brig is low key C tier. She's definitely a lot of friend vibes. She's got she's got a lot of friend vibes about her. Arlaria is too serious. I don't think she's it's really for her. Uh, Actually, you know what? Her she's also got like a tragic backstory. I don't really think there's room for. Uh, she's got to get over that. She's got to get over that a little bit before you can like get to that point. Uh, S tier, S tier or A tier? She's either the exact same as Anna, or she's a little better because she might be a little more like. She's a little more, you know, as the old people would say, a little more spry, you know. Like, but I don't know if that means. In a bad situation, can she turn something good? I don't know about charisma, you know? Maybe, like, good person, but I don't know about charisma necessarily. I think that's a little bit of a reach. You know, like, I think S-tier charisma? Mm, eh. Life Weaver, however. I would say Life Weaver. I don't know if Life Weaver's S-tier. I think Life Weaver's thirsty. I think Life Weaver low-key has a little bit of, like, a, he's always, like, curious. We'll put it that way. I, this is not to do with his sexuality. I'm just saying, like, in general, like, he has a very, like, explorative personality. So, like, he's probably very, like, he's got, like, that empath in him where he, he, he likes to really, like, you know, understand you as a person, which I think is really good, but I don't know if it's S tier. You know, I feel like this man will actually start engaging. You know, this man will make you laugh and make you go, like, you know, like, he'll make you tilt, he'll make you tilt your head. I don't know if this man will make you tilt your head, I'll be honest. I don't think he would. I don't think he would. Like, not right away. I think it would take time. And I don't know if that's, like, that's not at the same level. But I would say he's better than, he's better than Kiriko, maybe. But Ana's got experience. Ana's got massive experience. Lucio. Lucio's just a chill guy, honestly. Um... I'm sure he's got some charisma about him. Like, he's fun. He's a fun dude. Like, he knows how to party for sure. And everyone likes the DJ, right? So, I put him up here. He's definitely not friend. I think if you engaged with him, yeah, you know, you can get some. Mercy's got Riz. Uh, and only because she's got... Ex she's, she, she's that person that you were attractive and you're the one that most people are like... You, you, I'm sure you got, like tons of people you know wanting to you know be with you and you probably gained a little bit of experience like mercy has passively gained charisma that i think goes past this point mostly because i think she's always got to be like you know a little switched on like she understands i think she's self-aware she's much more self-aware of her position than uh we give her credit for so i'd probably put her around yeah around here like right right there is probably good Moira is a psychotic uh, person. She doesn't care. She has no empathy. There's nothing there. Uh, Zen, fun dude, very chill, wholesome. Wholesome man, definitely the guy you would ask for advice. Not sure if he's the guy you would want to ask on a date. So that is the list. I'd say this list is pretty good. This list is pretty good. I'm glad there's actually a decent amount of people in S tier. I was kind of worried that it was just going to be like one or two, but four people. Yeah. I would. I think the only person that you can argue shouldn't be here is maybe Cass. Like maybe he should be A tier. But I actually think Cass is S just because even though he does fail sometimes, I do think he's got a little bit more about him. Like I think Ana sometimes can get depressed. And, you know, does that mean you don't have charisma? No, but I think in a general, like, Cass has a lot of things he thinks about and, like, bad things and yada yada. But he handles it, I think, a little, with a little more, like, finesse. You know, I think Anna does it more so with a lot more, 
uh, I don't know how to put it. Like, there's just some she can't carry herself as well, you know. So I, I, I give, I'm giving Cass credit. I'll probably put him at the bottom. Yeah, I'll definitely put him at the bottom here. Uh, but yeah, I'd say these three unquestionable, unquestionable. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about Maga, but I think these three unquestionably have the most amount of risk. And this is also because I didn't want to spoil it. This is also the reason why I did the list now. When Maga came out, I was like, this is a perfect time to list these guys with the Riz now because we got another boy on s tier but yeah let me know down below where you guys would have put some of these guys what you guys think about the list where you disagree where you agree and if you guys enjoyed this and you want more overwatch content and also tier lists please like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one hope you guys have a good day take care peace and goodbye